iOS 13 is out, yet being even more powerful and faster than its predecessor iOS 12, including apps launching twice as fast as they used to be, by making their size 50% smaller, and also increasing the unlock speed of Face ID up to 30%. On top of that, iOS 13 comes with a ton of features, and also Apple likes to keep some stuff as a mystery in order for you to go ahead and explore. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pocket, back to another video. This video is going to have a look at the top 10 hidden features which were not mentioned during the Apple Keynote. So, let's get started. Alright guys, before carrying on with this video, I would like to make a very quick announcement about our channel and, and our branding for the future. We're officially changing our name from Tech Pocket to Tech Luna, and this is going to take effect on every of our social media, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, and also our website is going to be up very shortly under the domain of www.techluna.com. And the reason behind this is because this name matches more with the content that we are making. Furthermore, this change is going to take within a week, so don't be surprised if you see a different logo or a different name in our YouTube channel and you're wondering who this guy is. I'm going to make more announcements on my social media and YouTube, so we'll make sure that as many people will get this notification as possible. Furthermore, we cannot get anywhere without mentioning a sponsor for this video. PDF Element is the way to go with managing your PDF files. You can live edit the text, edit images, rotate pages, edit scanner documents, and many more. Once you open your favorite PDF document, all the magic begins. You can mark up your document by highlighting the text, strike through, underline, draw, and any other general functionality. On top of that, it can easily detect text boxes and edit them by double clicking on the text. Add your own text, change the font and the style. Also, if you're not satisfied with the image size, no problem. You can rescale it and crop it. You also can replace the images as well as extract them and add new. Furthermore, right off the bat, you get forms such as drop downs, list boxes, and buttons and being able to make them live. Make sure to preview them once you've finished. Of course, we can't go away without mentioning the fact that you can turn scanned documents into editable text even in your own language. First, we have a text in the English language. You choose the language and the resolution. The higher, the better accuracy, and then you may correct it. Did not mention in your own language, upload your own PDF in your own language and edit it as well. For example, in Greek. Obviously, you have popular features such as merging multiple PDFs into one, adding watermarks and background. Lastly, you have the power to crop pages, rotate them and add new ones. After you're done, you can export your PDF into multiple versions such as for Microsoft Word, Excel and others. Everything with as few clicks as possible and no headaches. Easy yet powerful. Are you constantly dealing with PDFs? PDF Element will get you covered. Download today from the Mac App Store, save your time, save your headaches. Now let's get back to the video for real. Number 10. Optimize battery charging. Charging your battery life to full and not removing the charger for a long time can worsen the battery and reduce its total capacity. iOS 13 has a new setting allowing it to learn your charging habits and prevent charging your iPhone or iPad all the way up to 100%. Instead, it will charge until 80% and the remaining 20% will be finished just before you normally remove the charger. To enable this setting, navigate to settings, battery, battery health and turn optimize battery charging on. And this will help the battery to maintain its maximum capacity possible. Number 9. Mouse control. Finally, you can navigate your iPhone or iPad by using a mouse something which I could never think of any iOS version will support. Simply take your favorite Bluetooth mouse and connect it to your device, then go to Settings, Accessibility, Touch and turn on Assistive Touch, then go to Pointing Devices and customize it if it needs to. Unfortunately, only specific mice are supported by this feature, including the Apple Mouse, Apple Magic Trackpad 2 and other brands such as Logitech. If you want to use a USB mouse, then you have to use a USB dongle for that. Unfortunately, my mouse is not supported. Number 8. Volume Screen Slider Yes, I totally agree when you change the volume and you need to go back a few seconds to see what you missed while watching your favorite TV show because a volume indicator takes over your screen can be very frustrating. iOS 13 finally replaces the old volume indicator to a new one. 
it slides from the side of the screen and it shrinks when you adjust it. Number 7. Live Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Access Sometimes you enable Wi-Fi on your iPhone and it takes so long to find your Wi-Fi connection until you manually go to settings then Wi-Fi and connect it to your network. Now iOS 13 wants to make your life a little bit easier by pressing and holding on the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth icons on the control center you will get a drop down of all the available Wi-Fi connections and Bluetooth devices to connect to. Number 6. Safari Download Manager Users have been begging Apple for years to allow Safari to download files. Although it was possible, you couldn't carry on using Safari until the download was finished. Now Safari is built in with a new download manager allowing you to download as many files as you want and even see all the files which are currently being downloaded and even keep using Safari. All downloads will appear within the Files app, iCloud Drive and then Downloads. Number 5. Low Data Mode If you don't have an unlimited data plan, then you will love this feature. Finally, iOS 13 allows you to reduce the bandwidth consumption for all apps and services to give you more space for the prioritized tasks, plus reducing the amount of cellular data consumed. Simply navigate to Settings, then Cellular, and then turn on Low Data Mode. And now you'll be able to be even more economic with your data. Pretty cool, huh? Number 4. Block Unknown Colors Receiving calls from people you don't know or even from users who do not wish to show their number can be very irritating. Finally, iOS 20 provides a setting allowing you to block all unwanted calls from phone numbers which do not exist in your contacts, messages or mail. On top of that, your iPhone will not ring. To activate this, go to Settings, Phone and turn on Silence Unknown Caller setting. And finally, you won't be able to receive any more spam calls from random companies or random people who just want to take your information for their own joy. Number 3. Website Screenshots Taking multiple screenshots to capture a full web page is history now. iOS 13 allows you to capture the whole website page from top to bottom with only one shot. Simply take a screenshot on any website on Safari and tap on the image preview. Then select full page and immediately the whole web page will be turned into a PDF file which you now can access by going to the Files app. Number 2. File Compression Manager Zipping and unzipping files was only a thing for macOS but with iOS 13 it's coming on the iPhone and iPad as well. Now you can compress and decompress files on your iPhone without the need of your Mac computer. Go to the Files app and locate your zipped file. Tap on it and then from the drop down menu select uncompress. Yep, another time saving feature. And finally, number one, haptic feedback for successful face ID authentication. So far, your iPhone has been buzzing when you were successfully authenticating yourself with your thumb ID in order to proceed to download your desired app. However, this wasn't the case when you used your face ID and so you may have not been aware that you have been authenticated. Now it's possible to make your iPhone vibrate on a successful Face ID authentication. Simply go to Settings, then Face ID and Attention and enable the toggle for haptic on successful authentication. Now you will receive a haptic feedback whenever you authenticate for a purchase, app download or any other purchase from iTunes or App Store. So which one of these was your favorite feature? And also, which one are you willing to try first? Don't forget to let me down in the comment section and most importantly, don't forget to share all those hidden features with your friends so you can save them some time from exploring the brand new operating system. And don't forget to like this video if you liked our list. And furthermore, if you would like to support us and be part of our community, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell right next to it in order to receive notifications for our latest content. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.